Income Tax 2020, Practice Problem 1, Presentation 31, Schedule C, Format Worksheet for Tax Adjustments, so that we can see exactly what changes or adjustments were made from the source document to the information that's put into the tax return, so that we can show it to a client, and so that we can look back and easily see those changes in the event of an audit, which could happen three years in the future. Come in, relax, with Income Tax 2020. Here we are in our Lacert Tax software. You don't need the Lacert Tax software to follow along, although I do think they have a 30-day free trial, so if you can get access to a promo or demo version of it or any other tax software, it could be a good tool to practice with. We're going to be continuing on here with our comprehensive practice problem number one. In prior presentations, we entered the income items from our source documents, such as W-2s, 1099s. Second section, we entered the above the line deductions. Then we thought about the below the line deductions, including the itemized deductions. Now we're working on the Schedule C. So we have a Schedule C business that we're gonna include here as well. That's gonna be the self-employment income. For that, we're jumping over to the Schedule C. We got the information we're imagining from the client or from our software, our accounting software, or however we're gonna receive that information in the format of an income statement. We marked off the accounts that we think may need adjustments to them. However, we pushed forward and entered this into the system so it matches up what we currently have, which is the 57,891 net income. That's what's going to tie out over here, 57,891 currently in our Schedule C. And now we're going to make uh, format our worksheet so that we can make any adjustments. We can see that this is going to be a little bit more complex of a return. There might be some adjustments we need and we want to track those adjustments as nicely as possible so that we can go back to it and check it in, in the future. Also, just note that sometimes you'll, you, it'll be a little bit more difficult for us to tie into that 57,891 because some stuff will, will roll over from the prior period, meaning you might have some things that rolled over like depreciation from the prior period that, uh, that will automatically be here. And you'll have to see that as, as the difference and then make your adjustment for that. And so that's why usually when I do the data input, I'll try to tie into this number first and then, and then go back in to make my adjustments like with the meals or anything else that we need to make the adjustments on. So I'm just going to do some formatting for this worksheet to do like a formal, this is how I would do it, a more formal adjustments. You could simply just write the adjustments at the bottom of your sheet or just put them in there in pencil and whatnot. But uh, the more complex your return is, the more you might want to add some more detail on it. It also helps to, to make a more formal process if you want to hire someone else to do the data input in the future and they can't read your scribble, you know, on the bottom of the sheet or whatnot. You might want to try to formalize it a little bit and that'll make it a little bit easier to, to do that. And, and also for an auditor to, to look at, it might be easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some rows and we're going to make this an adjusting kind of worksheet that we'll make. So this is like an adjusting entry, but it's just for tax adjusting entries and there's no balance sheet because all we were given was the income statement. So I'm going to add some columns. I'll do this fairly quickly. If you want some more information on how to, how to do this in a slower process, we do have a course on making the tax and adjusting entries uh, that you could take a look at. So I'm going to highlight from A and I'm going to go on over to, let's say, uh, E here. Right click and let's insert. I'm going to insert some rows and these are just going to be my adjusting columns. So these are going to be my adjusting entries that we're going to have. And I'll say that this is going to be uh, debit and credit. And this is going to be the accounts. Now, if you don't want to work with debits and credits and you just want to add and subtract, you can, you can do that. That's not, um, not really a problem if you're just doing the data input. I'm used to debits and credits, so I'll typically use the, the debits and credits. That's why I made this a negative number up top. That's representing a credit to me, net income here, negative number, credits beating the debits. That's going to be income, not a loss. So then I'm going to go back on over. I'm going to delete this column. I don't need that column. So I'll right click and delete this. And then like sometimes I'll highlight where I'm going to do the data input. So these, these are going to be my data input section. So I'll make that blue. And I like to make it this color blue by going down here, that one. But if you don't have that there, you can go to this thing. And then you want to be on this, the standard tab. And I like just using that blue right there, that blue for some reason. Well, I know why it's because the Excel, the Excel is fun guy. He's got a YouTube channel, uses that color. And so I kind of picked that up. But in any case, I'm going to highlight these then go to the home tab and then font. And then we'll go to add some borders. So it's not just a blue block. And so there's our borders. And then I'll have a little 
space between these two items there. And then we'll have our adjusting entry. So I'm going to add a row up top so that I can put my adjusting entries over here. So I'm going to highlight the whole row, row one, right click on the selected area and insert. So there we have that. And I'm going to pull these back up. I don't need these column here. So I can, I can grab these and, and pull them back up. Or I'm going to delete these three cells. Not the whole row, just these three cells to push this back up. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to delete. And then I want to shift cells up. And so shift the cells up. So push that back up. And so this is going to be the beginning balance. Beginning balance, I'll just call adjustments. And this is going to be the end balance, which is what we're going to put into the tax return. So I'm going to center these. I'm going to home tab alignment, center those. And tip, maybe I want to make these like the, the header a different color. So I might go, let's make this black and white black and white so it stands out as the header and maybe i'll do that here too i'll make this black and white and then i'm going to enter my adjustments over here this are going to be our adjustments so i'll make this blue like that blue so just to make it really easy on my eye when i enter the adjustments that's where i'm going to enter them and then i'll put my little brackets there and then i'll just sum this up because i'm using debits and credits i can just use the sum function equals the sum of the beginning balance plus the adjustments and then I'm just going to copy that down, copy that down. There we have that. I'll put my brackets around it, home tab, font, bracket, or put my, you know, the borders, the borders around it. And then I want the debits and credits to be summed up here for my double check on the debits and credits. And I want my net income to be summed up over here. So I'm going to, I'm going to select these, these ones and pull them over so that we have those. So now I'm summing up the adjusting column. These should tie out debits and credit wise, and these should tie out. And now I can see, you know, these adjustments then are gonna show basically my tax adjustments that we're gonna be entering. So in the future, then what we'll do is we'll take a look at each of these yellow items and, we'll, and then we'll make the tax adjustment for it. And let's just pick up the easy one right now, which is the meals and entertainment. That one I know, you know, that it should be 50%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that and just show you how this will work right now. I'm go, I'll go back on, on over and I'll say, okay, we tie in right now. I'm just going to make one adjustment at a time now. And I'll do the meals adjustment first so I know exactly which account got messed up if, if there's a lot of accounts. And so I'm going to go back and so I just want to do this one thing at a time and check it each time. So I'm going to go back on over and I'm going to say I'm going to remove the meals from my other category where it took the full amount. Delete that. And I'm going to let the software quote help me end quote now by putting it into this one where it's going to make the adjustment for me, right? Because I didn't want it to make the adjustment before because then I couldn't tie out to my net income number. So now I'm going to make it's going to make the adjustment. So I'm going to put in the full 590 there. And then if I pull back on over to the forms, then I can see under the meals that it should have taken the 50% of that, right? So it took the meals. Now it's got the 295. So now my bottom line doesn't tie out anymore. The 589, the 58, 186 doesn't tie out over here, but I know why it's because of this one. So I'm going to make that the one I'm working on. I usually make the one I'm working on green. And then I'm going to ungreenify these because those have been done. I'm not working on those right now. So I'm going to ungreenify those. Ungreenify. And then I'll just make my adjustment here. So I'm going to say in terms of debits and credits and you could just subtract right it's going to be half of that but in terms of debits and credits this would be a credit so i'll put it on the bottom i don't really care if it's on the bottom or not tr really you know as long as i got the debits and credits right but this is going to be then this divided by two and then i'm going to put the debit up top and and uh, or i can put the debit down here Basically on the bottom here, I'll add it down here so we could see our adjustments. So I'm going to go down here and I'll insert, right click another row. So I'm going to highlight the row, right click and insert, and I'll shift down. And these are going to be my tax adjustment for meals. So this is going to be tax adjustment for the meals. And I'll go back on up top and I'm going to say this is going to go here. And that's going to be the debit. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll unformat this. I don't want the underline there. I added a row 
So I want to make sure that this row is included in the sum for debits and credits. So what I'm, I'm going to format this format painter. I put the box around it. So now I got a box around it. I want to put a zero in the beginning balance. I want to show that these are going to be my tax adjustments. So I'll typically do that by, uh, I'll get rid of the yellow fine. I'm going to unyellow fine it and then I'll make it red. So I'm going to say, Hey, these are my tax adjustments down here. And I'll try to highlight that just so it's very clear. And then on this side, I'm going to record it. So the meals are going to go down here. This is the credit. And then I'm going to record my adjustments down here. Like, like so, and now it's, it's my, my totals are not adding up. I'm not picking up that last row over here. So I'm just going to copy this total across, copy it across. And then my net income is going all the way down here. But on this side, I don't want it going all the way down. I want it to stop there. So now this is, this is going to include everything that this does except for the meals, right? That one's not included for taxes. And then if I, if I look at it this way, it's this minus this, uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be this uh, plus this, and that's going to be our difference. So these items down here are going to be our adjustments. Now that looks a little bit tedious because you could just write that on the bottom of the income statement and just say like meals. You could just say, this is the meals adjustment. Meals. Yeah. And you could say that this is going to be the 295 and make the adjustment this way, right? You could say this minus this, there's our adjustment. But if you have a lot of things going on, that could be complicated. And this, this format works really well also if you move on to things like a, a, an S corporation or a corporation or a partnership type of returns, then this kind of process works quite well there. So now this, this 58,186 is what we have here. Now we got the 58,186 ties out and I know exactly what the difference is. So if the client asks like, why, why is that different than what I gave you, which was 57, 891 we're going to say oh that's because of this item this item is one half of the meals that we're taking here now you also might want to put like a note you could add a note into your into your items and so sometimes i'll just say i want to say uh have a comment or a note let's just make a comment uh, let's make a note i'll make it a note so i could right click on it my right click is doing funny stuff new note and I'm going to say this is going to be 50% of meals. And that should be enough just to know for taxes. And then you can see that little red dot and it'll give the comment for it. So that's how we can kind of format this in a more, in a more formal type of way. Then I'm going to ungreenify the meals. I'm going to say that one has been done. And we'll do a similar process for the auto and then the home office.